Well, I mean, I may be just a little bit of a smaller tank, but I can pull ice cream out of my butt? Oh, the tiger one. I want that one. Look at all these cool looking tanks. That one's got a crane. That one's got a rail gun. That one is the king tiger. Oh my, now they're just getting weird. Oh, that's not a tank. That's not a tank at all. Well, this is where we're starting. Oh God. Those things looked really mean and nasty, but they didn't prove to be too much of an issue for me. I've played so many games like this before, but this one has to be one of the most beautiful. Is he charging me with a machine gun? It looks like my barrel's busted, but it's still functioning. I gotta get hold down, man. We've achieved victory on the first level, so that's gotta count for something. Uh, this guy's firing two shells at once out of his barrel. I'm pretty sure that's against the Geneva Convention. It's weird though, like I've killed many a tanks before, but like in all kinds of different games, but when the tanks have faces, it just feels stranger. Like, does that tank have a family? Look at how it gets you right over that hill. Oh man, that was amazing. The, the one thing I don't like is how it looks like my barrel's busted. Well, it's time to upgrade us though. Could I save this money and spend it on the taiga? <gasps> Unlock for 20 purple gems? That's my goal. So let's go out and fight. Once more onto the breach. Hello? Is anybody? Yeah, you are. Haha. <laughs> oh god, it's a trap except I missed my first shot. Never a good sign. Lower the barrel, fires a gun. Lower the barrel, fires a gun. That thing looked like a Renault FT-17, that last tank I shot. That's like a World War One era tank. It's like take your kid to work day, except like you're giving your kid a BB gun. That just seems not good. Okay. Yeah, see, that's definitely a Renault. And then that one's like some modern German thing, like a concept. Cause the turret, the gun mantle, the gun mantlet. I used to know all this terminology. And then I got kicked out of tank school for shooting tanks with faces. Come on. And he's got a helmet too. There we go. It's working out though. Huzzah! Now I think one more mission and I'll be able to unlock my tiger. That's one of the reasons that I have not been saving or I've not been spending my gold is I want to upgrade him. This one looks cool, but it's like very 40K looking. Like World War One dystopian. You know, you can see like, look at how many little guns are on it, right? There's one, two, three, four, five. Five guns aside from my main barrel. I see you. Hello there. You're dead. Oh, this is like the commander. <laughs> All right, there's one more tank, but I guess if I just sit here, am I? Oh, warning, boss. Uh, hmm. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's got flamethrowers. Oh my God, those flamethrowers. Okay, the issue was we let him get, we let him get a little bit too close and he got freaking flamethrowers. So this is the perfect spot. If I just sit here, look, I destroyed that guy. I didn't even see him. Definitely against the Geneva Convention. Are they more like Geneva suggestions though when you're playing a video game? Because I think the answer to that is most assuredly. But this is like the position that if you were in an actual tank battle, you would want to be in. It's called hull down, where the only thing visible for the enemy tank is to see like my barrel in the very top of my turret. I'm a very difficult target to kill. Unless of course, you're this guy. Hello there, little Baron. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so we're just gonna pre-fire and hit him as many times as I can. And get out of there. All right, I should be able to outgun him. He's got like a, this, he's firing like a machine gun. He wasn't even firing a main cannon. We defeated our first boss. That feels great. Uh, I would like whatever the best thing is, please. Uh, what do we get? What do we get? There's no music when I'm doing that. Oh, I got this is what I wanted. The tiger. Yes, I didn't even have to use my gems. Okay, but I want to use all of my money to upgrade this guy. So now my damage is 615. 
Okay, and we're moving on to level five. Oh yeah, see, I like this because he, look at that. 88 millimeter main gun. I mean, uh-oh, guy looks. Oh, and I'm firing three shells at once because I'm a shotgun tank now. So if someone does get up close and personal, I mean, I guess, you know what, let's let's push over. Let's explore a little bit more than just using, ba bam The same tactic. Look at this guy. He's, he's firing and missing, yet he still decides to continue using the same tactics. What an idiot. Can I hit them both at the same time? I can. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. All right, I definitely need to upgrade my armor, though, if possible. Wait, is there a boss? There's a big skull. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we just went to either Hoth or Mother Russia, and I'm not sure which one. I'm guessing Russia. But then again, it could be the Swiss Alps, right? I guess this is what happens if you break the Geneva suggestions that many times, you gotta take over Switzerland so that nobody can say you've been a bad boy, right? Is, is, is that how, am I interpreting that correctly? Hello? Dude, when you hit them with two shells, what's the most number of cannon rounds that you can upgrade this to. Now we have to do the test. There's always the test. Can I ram an enemy tank and do damage to them? I guess the answer is no. But by closing the distance really close and personal, I'm able to absolutely shellack them and almost one-shot them. Although I'm getting a little bit weak in terms of health, this tactic is very aggressive. Look at this, now I'm, now I'm artillery. Hello! Yeah, I, I don't think that counts, though. I don't think... Alright, we gotta get in a more defensive position. There's seven more tanks coming. If we aim our barrel up a little bit, I might be able to hit these guys with two shells. Yes. Yeah, because you can see, like, I'm already down to 75% health. Look at me, just jiving here in the frozen tundra. Of Switzerland. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if you don't fight hull down, you are gonna take a beating. So, using proper tank tactics in a simple mobile tank game. I admit not too many people would do that, but I would do that. Hold on. I need to go back to home. Either we can upgrade this guy, or we can see the next one. 30 gems to unlock this guy. And this guy with the tow cable? Just how far and crazy do these tanks go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Uh, did you see that? It was a little tank and it turned into a dragon tank. That's a thousand gems. Whoever the artist is that's making these tanks, man, these, these are some cool looking tanks. May not always be practical, but I don't think they need to be. Level eight. Hans, the Germans are coming. Wait, Fritz, aren't these the Germans? Yeah, like I'm a German tank. Okay, there's only seven tanks coming out. Normally there's 10. Are we gonna face a new enemy? I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna move up. Uh oh. All right, that was a bad move. That was a dangerous move because it's difficult to play this with a mouse because it's obviously designed for people to use your thumbs. Oh God, please, please tell me you don't have flamethrowers this time. All right, how much damage are we doing? Not enough. Can he shoot? O I think he's gonna shoot over my head. <laughs> I broke in the game. <laughs> oh, dear enemy boss unit, you're dumb. Uh, that is very, very special. But we've entered a new level. This one is this a desert or an island? Coordinate our shot, maybe a little bit up. There we go. That the big thing can get blasted with all three of our shells, which I really like this firing position. And since our shells arc a little bit, oh, this guy's arcing shells at me, but he can't even hit me. Using smart tank tactics is the way to play tank games. Who would have thought, even in this one? Or is it just the AI is just not smart enough to, to fight against us? They were just like, oh, let's just bum rush him. 
That guy actually took a lot of... Look at... Okay. Look at where he's shooting. Okay. I, I should have killed him because once he gets there, he can hit me. And that guy's just like, mm, you know, I'm just going to get shot at the face. That's a good idea. All right. Level 10. Level 10 has to have something. But first, before we do that, let's go and upgrade this guy. Dude, I have to spend gems now. Interesting. All right. We're as upgraded as we can be. All right. Find hull down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just such a good strategy. I used to play games like War Thunder, World of Tanks, Battlefield, Call of Duty, like the old Call of Duties. And, like, getting in this kind of position always meant you're going to dominate your enemy. Like, if you're hull down and they're not, they are dead. Straight up dead. And if you were, like, in some games, the ones that were historically accurate, if you were going to use a Sherman tank, you're like, you got a decent gun if you had a 76 millimeter barrel, but, like, your Sherman chassis, you're fighting, like, German tanks with powerful guns or Russian tanks. Like, you're like, you know, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of health. Level 10 didn't have a boss, but that's this game. It's called Tank Combat, and it's pretty interesting. So if you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.